Drip irrigation is a slow application of water. What's really critical and the, the benefit of it is that it can get water directly to the root zone. Um, when you compare it to a spray type system, in a drip system you have gallons per hour, in a spray system you have gallons per minute. So you have a significant water savings when you're trying to water a plant. So there's a lot of critical components to a drip system, and we'll kind of go through each of them. But the important thing to also understand is planning is really important. So when you're going to establish a system and where you want to have plants, you want to have it on paper and kind of draw it out before you start digging. Because the last thing you want to do is dig holes and dig trenches for lines and then change your mind later. So planning is really critical. So in a drip irrigation system, really the critical and the most important system is what's called the manifold. And it's, it composes three parts. And this is what's usually in the irrigation box in your backyard. The first part is the valve. Um, this is basically what releases water into the system. So up until the valve, there's constant pressure of water. So there's water always hitting right here, ready to go at any, any moment. And this wire actually goes to your irrigation controller, and this is what releases water into the whole irrigation. So this is the same component that you use for a spray system or drip system, it doesn't matter, but it's really critical. And this is something you wanna definitely have access to in your irrigation box. The second part of the manifold system is your filter. And this is critical because this filters out debris and stuff from your drip heads. So um, if you've seen around in your yard or in other people's yards, sometimes there's heads that stop working. Sometimes that's because there's little debris and things that get into those heads. This filter actually will help clean that out. And it's something that you as a, as a homeowner, once a year you'll want to go in and actually you can go in and you can clean this filter yourself. So the third component of the manifold is the pressure regulator. And this is really important because it reduces the pressure that goes through the drip irrigation system. You don't have to have access to it, it's usually buried in the ground, but it is something that you definitely want on the drip irrigation system. Continuing from the pressure regulator, the next part is actually the half inch poly pipe, which comes in through here. So you basically have half inch poly that runs throughout the entire landscape. And this is really important because this is basically what sends the water throughout to all your plants. From the half inch poly, then you can actually have two types of, of heads on it. You can have what's called point source, which is you're using quarter inch, and this is typically what you see in the landscape, is point source going to the different plants and trees throughout your yard. There is also something called inline tubing, which is the same type of pipe. It's a poly pipe, but it actually has the heads built inside the pipe. There are some components that are, are pretty necessary in the system. One is, obviously, if you're connecting different parts, there are connectors that you can use. And the interesting thing with uh, the poly pipe, as opposed to PVC, which is what you use throughout the yard if you have grass, and that's the white, with the black, you don't use any glue. Everything is based on pressure. So you basically can feed the half inch into the connectors, and you basically wiggle it in, and then it has a suction that doesn't allow it to be pulled apart. An important part is the flesh and cap. And so this is at the end of the drip, drip irrigation system. This is important because you basically, once a year, want to flush out the whole system. And so you, these caps, you can actually take the heads off. And again, this is connected to the end. And so this is on here without, with an opening. And you just turn the system on for about 20, 30 seconds, and it'll flush out everything. So this is at the end of the whole irrigation system, and you want to have access to this. So don't bury this. The final thing are the different types of drip irrigation heads. There's a lot of variety, a lot of companies that make different types of irrigation heads. There's two types. There's what's called pressure compensating heads and non-pressure compensating heads. We strongly encourage to go towards the pressure compensating, which basically what that means is the head itself, when you buy it in, in, in a bag or, or packaging and on the heads themselves, they'll say the flow. So they'll say half gallon per hour, one gallon per hour, two gallon per hour. And so you want to have that consistent throughout your yard. So you want to have either all two gallon heads, all one gallon heads, but you want to have the fixed heads. What we strongly discourage people from using is what's variable heads like this. And the reason being is because this can range from zero gallons up to 30 gallons, but it doesn't have set clicks for the flow. And so one click doesn't necessarily mean one gallon. One click could be five gallons, 10 gallons. And the other thing is if it's early on in the system, a lot of pressure is going into this from your system, and so the flow in the first one can be significantly different from one on the end, where with your pressure compensating heads, it's consistent throughout the system. If you're interested in designing your own drip irrigation system, SNWA offers free classes at the Springs Preserve throughout the year. Just visit our website at snwa.com to get more information.